and welcome back to another episode of Nice Tries, The Curse of the Dead Gods. In our previous episode, we made some great progress. We actually made it to the final boss with like 100 HP left. Final boss, uh, I still have a conspiracy theory that there's going to be a phase 2 to that fight. Just feels like that's uh, pretty likely here. I think since we have 70 skulls now, we're going to take the Will of Sakal. Uh, I think that sounds really useful. Uh, I do like our... Um, take half damage while attacking, but I feel like I should get better uh, anyway, so let's let's get grab ourselves a couple of re-rolls too, some divine favor. But I think that this will let us uh, be a bit more aggressive in the items that we take early on and how much corruption we pay, because we have that extra threshold. So I like that. I like being able to be a little bit more aggressive early on. Um, let's go for a weapon early and see how this shapes up. I was just thinking about uh, kind of the weapons we've used overall. I like the claws a lot, as you could probably tell. Uh, the mace seems Fine. The sword seems pretty good. It'd be nice to get a better sword a little bit earlier. Um, but uh, I don't understand bows yet. I, I really don't understand how we're supposed to effectively utilize a bow. Okay. All right. Got to warm back up to the controls. It takes a little while sometimes. Ow. He really made it a lot further than I thought he would. But uh, I think it's mainly that I just don't understand how to use ranged weapons effectively in general. So if we get a bow, I think I'll probably try it just out of principle that uh, I know we're not using it effectively here and uh, I should learn to do so. Oh, good lord. Ow, okay. Please stop attacking me for like two seconds. But uh, I also really did like our greatsword that we had. It was pretty sick. And uh, I also do like the idea of the hammer. Just those two being able to open the uh, rooms for you seems pretty powerful. Okay. All right. Uh, wow. I really, I really thought this room would be over. This is a long room. Dang. Oh, I thought I could roll that roll. Well, that was awful. That was awful. We just got like chain combo killed there. Uh, unfortunate. I mean, we do have a haven coming up pretty quickly here, so we could heal ourselves back up if need be. Ah, uh, will I follow through and do what I said about us using a bow? I mean, I feel like I have to, right? Like, we need to try and figure out what a bow really has to offer to us. But let's take a look at this pistol, too, because we also don't utilize pistol very well. So, fire damage on perfect shots does the same kind of restoring. Offhand combos do a critical damage. I'm probably never going to actually manage to get an offhand combo here. Um, we can just perfectly afford this with gold. Do we just have another purchase option there? Oh, favor. Favor rerolls. Okay, it's not another purchase option. It's the option to reroll. Okay. Well, since I was just saying we should try and utilize the bow more, I guess I can't now look at that bow and say, nah, we're not going to do it. Uh, but not having the option to take a uh, hammer is pretty sad. Uh, here? We'll miss out on that weapon, but I think I like going this way, grabbing a relic and some stats. We're going to have to take a lot of corruption here, most likely, but we have that extra uh, corruption threshold. Essentially buys us 100 free corruption across the uh, course of this run because you have you know, five curses you can uh, get total. Each one of them now takes us 20 more, so get out of there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay, we dodged that still. Oh, our pants are on fire. Just our pants, apparently. All right, got to try and make use of this bow. So now we know he's going to... That wasn't the bow. Oh, it was close. Okay. Anybody left on this room? Nobody left, huh? All right, well... Okay, not a secret room there. Even if it was, we don't have a way to get through, I don't think. I mean, maybe the bow interrupts enemies when they're attacking. So if we see something like charging up a shot at us, we have a chance at getting away from it. Oh, I hate that room. I hate that room so much. There's just so many spikes. I think there's a little bit of gold up to the, uh, yep, up here. Tiny bit of gold. I mean, possibly not worth the risk of getting hit, but in theory, we shouldn't get hit there. So not a big deal. Uh, so let's see. It just doesn't do that much damage. Let's see. I want to test if it interrupts them. Okay, I, I didn't hit the right guy there, so I didn't actually have to test. Okay, get our stamina back. I mean, if it did, like, piercing shots, then I could maybe see it? All right, I want to see if this interrupts. Oh, dear. Okay, all right, come on, come on. That's... Wait, one of these guys in the back charge? Like, I need to get rid of this guy first. So that, that's... We got to learn a lesson real quick. Does the bow interrupt them? That didn't. It didn't interrupt them. So, like, what is the good of this? All right, one more time, just to make sure. Ah, I couldn't hit him. He was hiding behind someone else. All right, kill this guy. So we have one left guy to worry about. Now, please, when do you guys charge up? So it doesn't interrupt. Like, I don't see the use case for this bow. I really don't. I mean, the range is nice enough, but it's not that much more damage than our pistol. So I don't know. I don't get it. Would I like a worse bow? No, I'd, I'd really rather not take a worse bow. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
those maybe just aren't for me. Maybe it's just not my play style. Maybe I'm missing something. I I don't know. I can't tell you. Extra damage to fire attacks. Extra constitution and stamina is pretty appealing. And your attacks deal 25% less corruption. That's nice, but not that big of a deal. Let's buy this with blood. Let's take some extra stamina. Stamina management is uh, a really important part of this game and a part that I struggle with just a little bit. So let's uh, go ahead and give ourselves the best chance uh, with that going forward. I double tapped A and I don't know where we went. Not smart, but hopefully it's okay. Uh, I think this next one was a choice between, or I don't think we, didn't think we had a choice, did we? Wasn't this one just stats? Can we see our map? We cannot. Okay, that, it's fine. I mean, that's never going to be a huge deal. If we dodged the Haven accidentally, that could matter. But, I mean, honestly, we should be fine HP-wise. Uh, we don't have the Relic that heals us when we beat that first boss, unfortunately. Uh, so that could uh, get us into a spot of trouble. All right. Actually using your ranged weapons. Nice. What's gotten into you? Oh, my goodness. I must have lost it. Give me a Relic 2 or a Spear. I'll take a Spear. Charge attacks at three times instead of two. And honestly, give it to me. I'd rather have this than the bow, genuinely. I, I just I just don't get the bow. I don't. I gave it a fair shake there. I really did. If there's something I'm missing with the bow, let me know. Throw me a comment and you're like, nice, you're a big dumb idiot. The bow is the best thing in the game and you're just not using it right. If that's the case, please let me know. I, I'd be glad to find that out. All right. We should also try to throw some uh, charge attacks out here. Ah, oh! Oh, we gotta try experiment a little bit more with charge attacks, for sure. So much of this game we're still not utilizing right- Ah, couldn't quite dodge in time. This is pretty tempting. Oh, I've gotta take this, right? It's extra damage- Yeah, this, is, this just seems better. It just seems better, because we can open secret rooms with it. I mean, I guess we also haven't really tried that with uh, the spear. Uh, extra gold, extra max health. Offer blood, 40. Yeah, that's fine. We're doing that. Early on, we're definitely gonna do that. That seems pretty valuable for us. Uh, we know we can purge a curse if we beat the first boss, or champion, sorry, uh, which we should be able to. Uh, do we want the haven? There's another haven if we can make it through the boss. It's greedy not to take it, though. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. That'll give us a better chance going forward, and then maybe we won't have to do it after the boss. Again, I've battled this boss enough times that I should be able to, you know, beat him without taking too much damage, because we've seen most of his attack patterns. Uh, I'll stop there. No need to go too too hard on that. Uh, keep our corruption a little bit lower. Uh, thankfully, because we do have a higher threshold here, we're not going to get cursed going through this. But we're a little bit low on uh, our gold currently, so we're going to be spending a lot uh, of corruption if we do decide to keep buying items here, which I'm probably going to want to keep buying items to make ourselves better. Again, I do just really enjoy the balance that this game has. Oh, hi, big boy. Hello. Get out of this. Oh my goodness, everything is awful. Okay. What's the plan for big boy? Plan is... Oh, I didn't even see him attacking. I really didn't. Okay, let it bait him. I nearly dodged all the way into that. Honestly, it would have been impressive. Okay, hang on. Okay, make sure we're doing okay. So much is on fire. It's kind of ridiculous. Big, big boy. Oh, I couldn't whip out. Oh, he attacked before I could. I was trying to stagger him with uh, our giant sword. Please hit him once. Thank you. Now recover stamina. But uh, he got his attack off first, and it made me miss the second one. Okay, we staggered it in there before we could have a chance of getting off a third attack. That's another reason why I like the uh, this weapon here, is that just the stagger is so good. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it is that it blows up explosive barrels when you hit it without you being able to get out of the way in time. Extra damage in the light, extra damage, extra damage, extra damage. I mean, sure, throw on those daggers there. We are not a very rangeful build now, which is a shame because I was actually finally using our range to use an effect for the first time ever. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, let's look for a relic here. We have a decent amount of money. This does mean we're going to be going to the weapon immediately after, and I think we're in a decent spot weapon-wise. Maybe could use a better primary, but... Oh, I don't think I like this one. Yeah, enemies are not concealed. Oh, that's obnoxious. Okay, that's unfortunate. It just means I'm occasionally going to get hit by someone I haven't planned for. But, you know, could be worse, could be worse. As long as we're keeping light pretty effectively, we'll be fine. Oh, I hate this thing. Hang on. Okay, I think he got interrupted. He did get interrupted. All right, let's get close to this guy. Stagger him. Stagger him. Get out of the fire. Okay. Oh! Okay, that lit up so quickly. All right, I did want that thing to blow up because that's the secret room there. There's nothing good. Oh, there is something in there. Got it. Okay, we did get the gold. All right, cool. Ooh, okay, there's a relic here for us. Very nice. Uh, 
excess healing is turned into gold. Don't see it really doing much for us. This looks like a cool item we should be able to pick up, even though I know it's just like the headdress of someone else. Okay, keep going. Just keep going. Okay. All right. So far, so okay. Okay. Get me out of there. Throw in some dagger action. All right, all right. Gotta remember we've got some cool combos. There's probably like a charge attack we can do with the daggers too. Well, that's cool. Okay, that was that was a little dicey there, but that's a cool charge attack. You just kind of and go ham. That's really cool. Oh, this game just keeps getting more and more satisfying to play. I like it. The combat in this game is really, really crisp. Okay, big boy. I hate you and everything you stand for. Yes, yep, yep, yep. You you swing. Yep, you got it. Oh, he went for a third. I almost didn't notice him. Did that enemy just go invisible? He did. <gasps> they disappear. Okay, I thought they just like would reveal themselves and then stay revealed, but apparently they'll also vanish on you. That's a little scary. Oh, I whipped up the sword and it was too slow. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't have tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him there, but turned out okay-ish. Could have been worse. Uh, we have enough money to hopefully buy a relic here. Extra constitution. What is this one? Gold offerings restore 30% of max health and extra constitution. Costs us a lot of corruption. We're getting pretty high up on corruption if I take this. Then we are going to purge one pretty soon. I think I like this enough. Each greed kill wins one. I mean, I like I like having a way to restore health. And if we don't spend gold here, it means we're going to make a gold offering pretty soon. So let's do that. I'm okay with that. Going a little heavy here early on. I, I will accept that for sure. If we uh, die from curse, we die from curse. But we've never died from curse yet. So I'm going to keep pressing my luck. Because I don't know what's good for me, apparently. All right. All right, all right, all right. We've got this. We're doing okay HP-wise. We're at the same uh, amount of starting health we would normally be at. Dodge that. Okay. Light this brazier up so we don't lose track of these enemies at all. Okay. So far, so good. Ah, okay, that was really close. I think we deserve to be hit there, honestly. Oh, that's so much fun. Just roll. Just roll. Okay. So, charge attack definitely takes some stamina. Oh, we got him just in time. Again, shouldn't have just gone toe-to-toe -to -toe there, but it did work out for us, so I'm a genius. Ooh, a little bit of a dicey dodge there. Okay, please stop attacking me. I mean, that's kind of your thing, so I can't really fault you for it. Ah, oh, couldn't quite... Couldn't quite finish him off there, or finish my uh, attack in time to get off a roll either. I hate that the, uh, the whole enemies become shadow thing. It's, it's obnoxious. Ooh, okay. Thought that guy might be clipping us there. Please take this guy out. Okay. Okay, recover some stamina real quick. Then get out of there. All right. Oh, I thought that'd be the uh, dagger combo for us there for sure. There, that's what I was looking for. All right. So our lack of range hopefully won't matter too much. We did get a good bit of gold there. Uh, is this dagger better than our existing dagger? Uh, it does more damage from behind and a tiny bit more damage overall, but we scale with perception, so it's only going to get stronger for us there. Poison attacks is nice. I don't think we really want anything here, though. Uh, this one I definitely don't want to pay curse for. I think we're honestly just going to pass here and say that we're okay. Is there any sort of secret room or anything? Nope, not the case. All right, well, we will press on then. No big deal, no big deal. It's A okay. Alright. Gonna get cursed again here, unfortunately. But we'll purge one here if we beat this champion, so. Should work out alright. Give me like traps go off on Yeah, that's it actually. Traps go off automatically, right? No, oh, that's worse. Nope, I don't like that one as much. All Jaguar statues now have fireballs, that's worse. I like the uh, all spikes go off, you know, kind of on their own pace. Cause that one doesn't bother me too much, because it makes the traps more obvious. Ah, I hate that you just immediately summon a second Jaguar. Oh, they're lined up. Get them. Get them. Oh, that makes there be fireballs on this level. That's scary. Okay, I thought he'd attack again there, but he didn't. Okay, now he did. We actually dodged that. That's incredible. All right, he's probably going to go and heal soon. Oh, that was close. Okay. Probably should have been hit there. Get out. Okay, don't want to take any corruption damage if we can avoid it. Our MO is keep the Jaguars off the battlefield. Oh, that was had so much more range than I thought it would. Oh, he almost 360, or like 180 and got me there. All right, recover some stamina here real quick. Take out this Jaguar. And I think that we're going to try... Oh, he got me. Okay, that's all right. We're doing fine on HP here, and we have a Haven coming up if we really need it. Oh, he caught me in the middle of my combo. Okay. Oh, the Jaguar trap, please. 
Recover some stamina. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Just keep it together. Don't go nuts and you'll be fine. Okay, dodge that. Okay, dodge that one. All right, he's not sending out another. Okay. I also am now seeing that you can actually keep track of uh, like how many spears he has to throw. He actually runs out of the spears and then they manifest back in his hands again. Is that super obvious and I should have noticed it a million years ago? Okay, maybe. All right, look. But I got a lot on my mind while I'm playing this game. Okay. No second throw. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there's the second throw. And the third throw. All right, well, he's really trying to get me here. So uh, I'm feeling that our damage is a little lacking. Uh, definitely getting that feeling. Okay, just don't throw... Don't throw a dagger at me right now. Okay. Sir. All right. Wanted to go ham there a little bit. Recover some stamina real quick. And then roll out of there. Okay. We got out. I don't want to be using this. I don't want to be using that uh, attack on them. Okay. That's fine. I think we can stagger him out of being able to do his attack, but I want to always make sure we keep at least one stamina. Or not, uh, yeah, one stamina to uh, make sure we can dodge those when he does break it out. So if we don't have any stamina and he hits us with the first one, he might immediately hit us with the second one. Oh, we got him. All right. All right. We did it. The uh, the big sword was definitely the way to go there because we do extra damage to champions and bosses with it. So definitely the way to go. Oh, uh, we can purge one now. We got to purge the stupid uh, everyone is invisible thing. I hate that one. Is this a good sword? Seems literally just better than our existing sword. Count me in. Bunch of skulls. Oh, so many skulls. Well, that's a ton of extra damage in darkness. 100% count me in on that one. That's pretty great. All right, so here I think we might need to check out that haven that's uh, ahead of us. We are taking a lot of corruption, but I think we're going to need this health to make it through, uh, which means we probably need to focus on gold sacrifices here going forward. Uh, we will get a little bit of healing if we do make a gold tribute here, so I won't go all the way on this. Actually, that was a lot. We'll go one more. We'll go one more here. Um, I think it's a fair amount of corruption for us to be at at this stage of the game. We have to be careful about how much we uh, sacrifice to gain new items and such. But, I mean, other than our primary still being not great, we're doing okay. If we could replace this sword, I'd be a lot happier. But... Because here... Okay, we do still one shot. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Hang on. Pay attention. All right. Oh, you got me. Oh, taking that... Taking that uh, curse damage is really unfortunate. All right. Definitely don't want to take too many of those hits because we're about to get another curse now and we just purged our previous one. Okay, no secret area. Okay, we can see this is the one that wraps around back on itself. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. All right. Close behind me there. Yeah, I'm going to close behind me. That's fine. Okay. I do have my favorite curse, which is the shadow dodges. Oh, this is awful. I hate everything about this. We're going to try and get as much gold as we can because, like I said... We do need to be making as many gold tributes as we can. Oh, please. How do we get out of here? Okay. They all died so the door opened. Okay. The door has to open so we can get through and we have to kill the enemies to make the door open. Okay. So we got a little lucky with everyone blowing up there. Could have been a bit dicier otherwise. You are a champion. Okay. So you're, that's why your eyes are all glowy. Somebody come here. That's a very satisfying combo. It really is. Okay. Let's take this out. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought we had the spear, so I thought we were doing, like, the spinny attack thing. And we didn't... Oh, he's faster than I am. He deals corruption damage, too. Oh, no. Well, that's obnoxious. What is this? Um, I like our daggers. We're not using our daggers a ton, but I do like them. I think they have more potential than a, a, a somewhat okay-ish pistol. I'll probably take this just because the increased uh, base damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, that seems a lot better than our current build, even though we don't have any dexterity for it to uh, scale with. I just have to get used to... A different attack pattern here. That's really going to be the trick, is I'm very, very accustomed to that sword attack pattern. Okay, we're on curse number three again there, right? Yeah, back up to curse three. Could be worse. Could be worse, but it's okay. Blinding greed. Okay, is that the ground? Yeah, gold disappears. Okay, makes sense. So more gold, but it goes away more quickly, so we've got to be quick to scoop it up if we want to scoop it up. We have a lot of gold right now, so I'd be in a very glad position to uh, make some gold tributes to get us some extra health back. We did take a little bit of uh, damage on that previous room, but... Okay, sir, I hate that he just, like, chases you down until, uh... No, no, no. Light on the fire. Light on the fire and then run. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Take out this guy. And now roll, because we're on fire. Okay. Get your stamina back. Okay, not a three-piece attack. Okay. As long as we hit this guy first, we should be able to chain him together. Into the fire. All right, excellent. 
Okay, roll at the very end there to make sure we're not on fire anymore. We haven't seen like any secret rooms. Am I just missing them or have we just gotten really unlucky? I swear I'm looking. I, I could see myself having forgotten about one pretty early on there, but... Oh, okay, just keep going. Just keep going. Just, just roll. Just roll until everything stops exploding. Okay, there's a secret room. Okay, all right, almost got me there. Okay, this is a pretty good one. This should be a lot of uh, stuff and a shield. 5% base damage and reflects 50% of a melee det parried attack back to them. Uh, I mean, we're not really using the dagger much, so let's try it. Uh, let's try and be a little bit more mindful of the fact that we're not parrying at all. And maybe we can try and throw in some parries. It's uh, definitely a mechanic that's a little bit high risk, high reward, but... It might have a place somewhere it's not making good use of Oh, I hate this, that there's something between us. Okay, focus on this guy. It's a champion one of him. I hate everything about this. Okay, stagger him, stagger him, just keep going. Okay, stagger him again, just stay on him. He survived, how did he survive? Get him, okay. I thought he would be dead there for sure, all right. Doing okay, doing okay. Is this better than our current one? I d no, definitely not, definitely not. A couple of skulls from that champion guy, appreciate that for sure. All right, so far doing okay. We do extra damage in the light, so we should try to light up braziers when we think about it. Uh, anything else special around here? Nope, okay. Alright, let's make a gold offering here and get some, uh, HP back. I wouldn't mind a little bit of extra gold. Is it worth that much of an increase, though? I don't think so. I think this late, it's better to keep our gold to make more gold offerings, uh, to get our HP back. So, I'll, I'll increase our max health, though, for sure. Why not? Alright. I think we actually might have gotten some money from that, because we have the overhealing actually provides us cash. Let's go for the unknown. I'm pretty happy with our weapon setup here, and we've got another weapon ahead of us. So let's see what uh, the unknown can provide us. Okay, I hate this. Okay, grab the gold. Okay, no reason not to grab the gold. And just keep running. We'll just uh, get a, a big lead here, get these guys all together, and then go ham with our uh, oh, with our sword. Okay, hopefully this plan works. It's, feel it's feeling a little less great right now. Okay, I was hoping that that swing could take us out of their range. Okay, swing again. Keep him staggered. Get off, get off of fire. Get out. Okay. Wow, that was so delayed. Okay, good. He died. He died to himself, I think, or to the, the fire. I'm okay with that. Wow, this gold does not stay on the ground for, like, any amount of time at all. Okay, get these guys all together, and then just stagger. Oh, this weapon is so much fun to use, dude. It's ridiculous. Oh, highly, highly recommend that weapon. It gets you into trouble sometimes because it's super, super slow, but, man, it dishes out the hurt in a very satisfying way. Wow, he, he had a, I tried to roll, but uh, he, he clocked me. Ooh, okay. We actually managed to get out of that one somehow. Oh, you're a champion, boy. Okay. Get rid of the champion one of these things. We can't afford to be taking too much more corruption damage. Stagger him. Keep him staggered. Keep going. Don't have a roll. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we didn't quite get him in time. Okay. Unfortunate there to take that hit. No need for it, really. Okay, that was that was uh, greedy. That was entirely greedy. I will admit that. I should have probably been hit there and punished for my greed, but we weren't. So, ha! I'm the greatest. Uh, extra damage, extra gold find. I don't really care about gold find too much at this point in the game, so we're just going to increase our damage, keep some gold so we can keep making more gold tributes. Uh, yeah, because we're actually profiting because it's overhealing us, because it's healing us for 30% of our uh, max HP, and that's overhealing us, so it's actually giving us a refund of the gold that we're spending. That's a pretty sick combo. Uh, we can just spend money to make even more money immediately. Is this what, like, the 1% are like? Is this is this what it's like being a billionaire? Okay, we actually managed to hit him there. I was actually already spamming roll to try and get myself out of that situation. Okay, keep this guy staggered. All right. Go on this guy. We can only swing at him once, so we got to break out regular attacks. Okay, get your uh, get your wits back about you. Get your stamina back. Okay. So, I mean, I think the most realistic way that we lose this, this run... Oh, please. Okay, is uh, if several of these guys hit us a bunch in a row... Okay, we did stagger him just in time somehow. Or if uh, we die to uh, to curse. I feel like curse is actually more likely to kill us than blood right now. Uh, okay, kill this guy. Your champion. Are you the only one that spawned here? If so, I feel sorry for you, bud. Oh, you are not. Okay, you're not alone. Oh, you have a spawner. Hang on. That guy's got to go. That's priority num number one. Oh, I like that charge shield bash. That feels pretty good. Get this guy off of my screen, please. Don't go on the spikes. Oh, we're out of stamina. Get your stamina back. Get your stamina back. Okay. Go on this guy. Oh wow, he almost got me. Okay, I'm spamming. I'm spamming too much. 
we are lucky that that Jaguar did not hit us there. He was trying hard. All right, now it's just a Jaguar. We're totally fine. We've taken out tons of these guys already. Ooh, he almost made me eat those words, but that's okay. All right, so here, I mean, anything that we buy is going to basically refund us. What is this? Attack, steal 10% HP plus 10% damage for active curse. That seems amazing. And we can buy it with gold, and it's just a ton of damage. Yo, count me in. Count me in and a half. That's, that's a level three weapon. I think it's only like the first or second one of those that we've seen. Uh, so that's awesome. It doesn't even change up our attack pattern too much, which is great because I don't want to change that too much here right at the end. Doesn't cost us curse. Did cost us a lot of money. Uh, we didn't actually net that much cash back there because we spent a lot. I don't see a reason to really go for gold here though. I mean, I guess we go for gold then go for stats. Yeah. Let's do that. That gives us a, a much better chance at being able to make a gold tribute for something that's useful. And I really like our current weapon loadout. We have a great boss killer in the form of this gigantic, awesome looking sword. Oh, there's so much gold, but it's all going to disappear. Okay, just don't take hits here. No reason to take hits here. Moronic. Moronic. Roll. You're on fire. Okay. Knock down this wall. Take out a torch. Nothing? Nothing? Only our second secret room this entire time, and it just contains stone cold nothing. All right, fine. Be like that game. Oh, there's two big boys. That's scary. Look at how much damage this does. Ow, 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 ow. Stagger him. We have no stamina. Get your stamina back. Get your stamina back. Okay, it was 10% lifesteal, right? So, like, this should do a decent amount of, like, I mean, that's feeling pretty awesome already. I, I'm liking that. Uh, extra poison damage. I mean, sure, why not take it? We're not full on relics yet or anything. Okay, oh, we do get... No! Oh, wow. I don't know how we didn't get hit there. I think maybe we're still in shadow form for the last little bit there, but I rolled aggressively to get the gold, and then the thing shot at me. So... Oh, I hate this. I hate this, and everything it stands for. Okay, well, that sucks. Where do we even need to go? I don't have that much stamina! That room's awful. I hate everything about that. Uh, another secret room? Okay. Grab the gold. Grab the golden goat. Oh, we didn't get that one. That's okay. Could have been worse. Okay, nothing in that secret room. Nothing in this one either. Dodge the fireball. Okay. This run's good, though. I, I cannot deny this run is good. Make sure there's nothing in here. Okay, just double checking. There might have been something in that first one, but it might have disappeared. Maybe that was what happened. But I swear that one usually has some gold for us. Okay. I mean, I love the life steal. Ow. How did you hit me? All right. Yeah, I mean, we're basically breaking even overall with most of the damage that we're taking. And if we can give one more gold offering, we should heal back up to full for this boss. And if we were able to, like, with 100 HP, nearly beat this boss last time, I think we're in great shape to have a good chance here. Extra damage for spears. I mean, sure, why not take it? It's extra perception for free, essentially. Take this gold to make sure that we can make a gold offering here. Uh, we don't want a weapon. I'm very happy with our weapon loadout. Let's go for some stats. I wouldn't mind some extra dexterity here going into this last fight. Uh, hopefully it's the last fight. I'm still pretty convinced that there's going to be a second part of this. It is called Eclipse of the Cursed Twins. I haven't seen anything that feels twinny so far. Uh, get me out of this room. This is an awful hellhole. We're going to blow this up. I didn't want to hit it. With oh, that was so close. All right. Uh... Okay, I was wondering which path was the correct path to actually make progress. Machete, finishers cost no stamina. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, I should... Da, 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 da. It's a little less damage, but I actually really like finishers cost no stamina. That lets us really spam our uh, moves there. Is that only finishers with this weapon or finishers... Right, because I think there's only finishers with your main weapon. I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. The damage isn't great, but it's a little bit faster and it lets us spam it more, which is what we're going to want that uh, weapon to fill the role of anyways, is kind of a fast attacker getting some little hits there while we uh, keep our stamina high to be able to more effectively use this big bad boy, because this one is awesome. If we can use this weapon, we should, because it nets us HP. So if we have a choice, use this one every time. Oh, we are too slow on that one. Oh, please. Okay. Little greedy maybe on some of those, but I think we'll be okay here. One more back. Hit him. Alright, cool. Whew, that weapon is slow. Oh, there's plenty of more guys. Oh, get him. Oh, we couldn't quite get him. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's okay. Uh, this gold offering should get us basically back up to full. We're going to buy anything we can here, essentially, because why wouldn't we? 
Uh, extra max health and max damage. Oh, we're so close to this. I'd love to be able to get it, but we're not going to be able to. And it's definitely not worth an extra bit of corruption there. Um, they're both good. Uh, let's actually use a reroll here. Can we reroll? Oh, uh, we can't reroll these. Huh, interesting. What can we reroll? Just weapons then? Um, I think our damage is pretty solid. So let's go extra max HP just to give us a little bit more survivability against this. So I don't think we can offer anything else, right? Okay, we can't offer a second one. I was pretty confident about that, but I don't know that I've ever actually tried to buy two things. So we're at nearly full HP now going into this boss that we almost beat. We got it down to like a sixth of its HP on our sight read against it. While we had 130 HP total, so we're looking pretty good here. Okay, so some breachers can't be lit. That's fine. We've only got one more room left here in theory. So hopefully, I mean, if it's just the one phase, I give us pretty good odds of taking this thing down. Ow, okay. Don't get hit immediately a ton. That's moronic. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Get me off of fire. Okay. Okay. Move. That is so much range. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's not be dumb. Stagger this guy, and then you're good. We're gaining HP every time we hit him. Make sure that you get your uh, stamina back. Okay. Those things light on fire. That's scary. But I'm feeling like because it's the whole twins is the theme here, and this guy seems like he's a sun kind of god, that maybe there's a uh, upcoming moon sort of... Okay, there's too many of these things on the battlefield. What the heck? Yeah. Good lord. Okay, now he's in this phase. Okay. Okay, yep. So, keep in mind, he has that one extra little smack. Okay. Wow! Okay, I did not expect that. Okay. Alright. Pay attention. Watch for tails. Yikes. Oh, yep. I should have dodged that one. Okay. Get on him when we can. Yeah, okay, I, I prepared for it that time. Alright, we can spam this because our finishers don't cost us uh, stamina. But we don't gain stamina back while we're doing that. Okay, you gonna get your tails back now? You are, okay. I like this phase better, so I'm happy while he's here. Okay, don't go one more because we want to keep at least one stamina to dodge. Okay. Let me get back in there. Alright, we're, we're doing pretty well here. One more hit and then go on this plan. Okay, dodge. We don't have a second dodge. Okay, yep, we're just going to take that one on the chin. Okay, so we want to get back one more dodge than that. Also, roll to get yourself not on fire anymore. Okay, he's extinguished now. This phase is scarier to me. Yeah, that one got me. That's okay. Just go ham. Okay. So just don't get hit by that last little one, and then watch for his tells. Okay, all right. We need a little... Okay, we've got two dodges. That should be enough here to make do. Okay, get some stamina back here. We could use a little bit more. Alright, alright. We're reading him pretty well. He's getting low here. Oh my goodness, you get stuck in that one. Just go ham. He's getting low. Alright. Is there a second phase to this? It, does the twin come in here? Or is this actually the end? Did we actually do it? That looks like we actually did it. It didn't give us a weapon or anything, so it doesn't look like, look like we're continuing. Was it just like the blood hunter was his twin? Did we succeed? I'm cautiously optimistic. Hey, we actually did beat it. All right. Heck yeah. All right, cool. So we get to see what the uh, next mission is in the uh, next episode here. If we have to go a whole nother champion in, or if it like ends in a boss or something, we're going to have to be really cautious with our uh, curse levels. Because we were pushing Lethal Curse there near the end after he hit us with those staggering attacks that uh, we actually might have been at Lethal Curse level, but it doesn't actually proc until you go to the next room so we might have been like an actual like dead man walking there if there were any other rooms to follow looks like we did okay there that was a cool run i liked that build that build seemed super powerful that synergy we had with spending gold to get healing to then get more gold to then let us spend more gold to get more healing that was an awesome little cycle we got ourselves in there so super happy with that really enjoying this game and i'm excited to see what happens next because uh after we beat that first champion, like, the whole style of things changed. There were many different rooms, new champion enemies, and that kind of thing. Uh, like, jaguars were now spawning. There were all these things on fire. So I'm curious to see what now will uh, be added for that next mission there, or how far we'll have to go. If you want to check that out, though, make sure you subscribe so you'll uh, get all sorts of notifications. Hit the bell icon if you want those active notifications there. Hit the like button if you did enjoy this episode in particular. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. If you want to see some more, let me know. If you got some advice or any sort of commentary for me, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'll read all of them, of course. And until the next episode, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, check out these similar videos floating all around your screen.